So they brought out new hard goods. I waited for it to clear. Then I come through and I still found Le Creuset Panini Press. It's looking like the curse of the one shoe is striking again. When I first came in, I found a really good condition Reebok CrossFit and a really good condition Bontrager cycling shoe. I've been holding them and I cannot find, and I've also told a few people to keep an eye out for them. This one hurts because they're both excellent shoes. Going through the clothes, here's a solid find. Nike Pro Combat. Well, it's happening again. I found another one shoe. Doc Martin. Has three pairs of really good ones today. All right, so just going through the hard goods, I just found the remote control. It's an NAD HTR7 model. Oh, worth the shot to pick it up. Again, probably cost a quarter if that by weight. Can easily cover the whole haul. Look at that. That's a hundred dollars plus right there. Leaving behind. So they just called for everybody to pay. So I'm gonna wait on the ends because everybody's gonna start going through their carts and throwing stuff back. Hopefully I'll find one of those shoes, but I doubt it. All right, first priority, I gotta get my orders packed up for the mailman. I sold four pair of jeans, three last night while I watched the baseball game between like 10 and 11, which was amazing. And then one this morning while I was at the bins. First pair that sold last night, a pair of Adriano Goldschmieds. The tag has an AG. That's how you can look for them. These sold, I took an offer, I had them listed for like mid 20s. I took an offer $20 plus $8.50 shipping. The second pair of last night were, good sale, these Rock Revivals. I just picked them up last week, I think they were in a previous video. And someone bought them full price, $54.75 plus shipping. So Rock Revivals, excellent brand. Tough find, you don't see them too often. The brand is called Decovas. It's like a western type, but they're just regular looking pants. Decovas, good brand, sell for good money. These, I took an offer of $40 plus shipping. And the ones that sold while I was at the bins, just a pair of diesel. Nothing spectacular. Diesel is the brand. You can always spot them by on the coin pockets. It says Diesel Industries. And these sold for $32 plus shipping. So that's $148 in gross sales just on four pair of jeans. I pay just about $3 per pair at the bins. So that's $12. After fees, it comes out to $116 approximately net. A little less maybe, but that's close. So four pair of jeans made over a hundred bucks. I'll take that every day and any day. Now I will tell you this, these are prices that are not typical of used jeans. These were good sales, they just happened to all be you know, one night in the morning. The first pair that I showed you that I sold for 20 bucks, that 20 to $30 range is gonna be the majority of used jeans of that you will find. Of course, there's exceptions like I just have here. I said they just happened to all be at one time. But $20 to $30 is your range. So you need to really pay attention if you want to sell jeans or you're starting to sell jeans, the buy cost. Mine at the bins, it's just about, it comes out to like $270 something for a pair of jeans, which weighs in about a pound and a half to two pounds. Um, I went to a thrift store yesterday that I haven't been to in over years, local, but I know they're expensive. I said, let me meet. Maybe I could find a really good pair of jeans in there, you know, like some rock revivals or something. And I'll pay up a little because I know they're going to sell, you know, $50, $60 range. Well, they had an aisle full. They have a sign that says designer. Apart from the regular jeans where it's Levi's, Gap, you know, regular type things. And their jeans, they had True Religions, Adriana Goldschmieds. They had all these good brands. And I'm talking like 100 pair aisle and 20 bucks a pair. So I couldn't touch them. You know, if I found a pair of Rock Revivals that would sell for 55 bucks, yeah, I'd probably pay 20 for one, you know, still make a good 20, 25 bucks. But I had to walk away from those. So by cost, you know, even the regular ones were 8 to $11. Dollars. 
I couldn't touch Levi's there for eight or eleven dollars because if I only get twenty bucks from them, there's no profit there. So pay attention to your buy cost, and if it's higher, you know, Goodwills are eight dollars or something like that, then you got to be really picky with your jeans. All right, and the other item I got to pack up sold last night. These pair of Liberty Sport. They're just like cycling glasses. Got that plastic wraparound frame. I can't even see because they're prescription lenses. Totally blurry. But I did put it in the description as sold as frames only, has prescription lenses. You can replace your lens, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So these sold for like $17.75 plus ship. And of course, I ship all my jeans, except for large sizes that don't fit, in a priority flat rate padded envelope. So here's just a little tip for shipping. If you sell anything that's quite large, like blankets, any kind of bags, messenger bags, backpacks, things of that sort that you don't have a large box and you don't really want to use a large box for weight. And these type of things are not crushable. They're not going to get damaged. So you can bag them. I'm going to show you a poly bag that you should keep in stock. So here's the bag. Quite large. 24 by 19. I only have one left, so it's time to reorder them. They are a little pricey for the size that they are, but it's a necessity if you sell, like I said, anything big, non crushable. These come in handy. I've shipped plenty of Tumi messenger bags, you know, backpacks, like I said, anything like that. Bag it up, makes it so much easier. And then there you have it, all packed up. Nice big blanket, just in an easy to handle, easy to ship, lightweight poly bag. All right, so here's the pile of everything from the haul. So let's go through. I will show you the item, and I will show you a comp of a recent sale that I can find so you know why I picked it up and give you confidence that you can look for that item as well. All right, we'll start with some of the smaller hard goods. Whenever I see these style of purses, like these kind of like 50s, 60s looking beaded purses. I always grab them and I have sold them. They don't sell for big money unless you get like a solid name brand. Pretty neat looking. You know, even if you get 12 or 15 bucks, it's worth it. Found a pair of glasses. These are vintage glasses. The brand, I'll put a picture of the brand if I can get it. Marconi. Marcolin, Marconi. Made in Italy. When I saw made in Italy, that made me grab them. I saw this Charles Chips. I don't think they make Charles Chips anymore. They're those chips that used to come in the big tin. And this is just a rolling wooden truck. It's got a slot on top, so it's like a piggy bank. Thought it was neat. Probably not big money. Um, I remember seeing a cop, but it wasn't for a Charles Chips one. So, you know, maybe 15 bucks. Got this remote that I showed earlier when I was at the bins. An NAD HTR7. So no comp for the 7, but other ones have good comps. So good condition, no corrosion. Then I think I showed these also. Grab the Nerfs. I always grab the magazines and extra darts. Sell these separately. People always like to have extra. Probably ask like 14 bucks for the two of them. All right, so I showed this earlier, Lake Crusade. If you don't know this brand, learn it. Most resellers know it. Very expensive stuff has very good resale value. They make like cast iron pots. This is a panini press. It was laying in the hard good bins after everybody cleared out. And I think that bin was from the night before. So that's just crazy. And um, this has excellent comps. I washed it before we did this filming and um, came out nice and clean. So this is a good find. Then I saw this fox. This is a little Kids motocross like chest and shoulder pads. It's the Titan Peewee, it's called. And this has like $30 comps for this little chest pad. All right, pair of Donald J. Pliner, which is a shoe designer in Miami. My wife's sister actually knows him. I have met him. And um, some of his stuff is expensive. Resale, not that great. But these are very clean. They're leather, like a slip-on with a zip-up. Perfect soles, look at that. I don't know if these, well, they maybe they were worn just a bit. But these are good. I think I saw comps for about 
20, 30 bucks for these. And I found this holy Bible. This thing is a beast. I just put it on my scale and it weighs six pounds. 6.2. So it's Catholic Holy Bible, family record edition. Nice, like embossing on it. Real clean. So this should bring some decent money. And I got one golf club find. This is a King Cobra. It's a 10.5 degree offset. Oversized titanium. All right, for clothing, got this pair of Nike Pro. Nike Pro sell, and they sell quick. Shirts, the compression shirts, the pants, shorts. This is like a pair of compression pants. Just in a gray with like a, the mesh almost aerated bottom. And I also got a pair of another one, Nike Pro Combat. This is an even better one to look for. And these also sell very good, fast, and some of them go for good money. All right, we got four pairs of jeans today. So that's a decent little pickup. I've been selling a lot of jeans. Um, this is a pair of vintage Armani jeans. These are made in USA, but these are Armani. Not big money when you compare it to when you hear that name Armani. But, you know, in the 20s, like a typical used jean. We have a pair of women's True Religion. These are the Disco Joey Big T. And when you see the Disco, see this? I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. They're Swar Swarovski. Swarovski, I don't know how to say it crystals so there and in the front you'll see they're all embellished with the crystals as buttons or as rivets all right grab the pair of modern these are 501s for levi and like the indigo it's kind of like a purplish blue and these are modern and you can always tell that by the tags inside so 501s larger size 42 by 32 and a pair of overalls, which always sell. They don't last long. This vintage, the brand says Red, White, Blue brand, made in USA. And they're just a pair of bib overalls. And I only paid $15 in change for this whole thing. It went by weight. And in the Bible, which books are only 50 cents. So any one of these pair alone will more than cover the entire cost of the whole.